this is a 12 volt 7 ampere battery and it's a dead battery of course so the voltage level for this battery is two way down from the nominal battery voltage which is 12 volts so i'm gonna hand over and show you that on this digital multimeter so i'm gonna put it on then put the negative lead and the positive lead here and as you can see guys the voltage level for this battery is typically 1.6 volts that is dc so in this video i'm going to show you a step of how we can bring back this battery to its working condition so this is a dc light 12 volts 5 watts and we want to test it and see whether this uh, dc battery uh, at a nominal voltage of 1.6 can turn it on as you can see nothing is showing up interchanging the lens nothing is showing up and so this is my power supply it's a dc power supply so let me show you the condition of the dc light so i'm gonna connect that and this one so i'm using uh, this double pole switch as the, my isolator so when i turn it on you can see it's it's working so it's in good condition so we want to work on this battery until it comes back to its working condition so stick around and enjoy so for this video you need uh, a glass then you need uh, water actually this is drinking water as you can see here then we need a tablespoon and the cigarette so the steps will be we put have a glass uh, of this drinking water here like that then we are going to use the this normal or the table salt this one so i'm going to put one tablespoon of salt like this and put it in to my glass then i'll stir it up to make a salt solution make sure that the solution is okay like that then we take now our battery this is our battery and this is our solution so first of all we need to remove these cups from this battery like this we have six of them so we're going to remove all of them like that now we are going to use this uh, it's a 5 ml silage so this is what will be used to eject this solution on this uh, battery lint here so I'm going to pull up this solution. Let me suck some solution here, and I'll fill these uh, cups with this uh, salt solution, like this. So for each uh, cup, I'll put two. That's 10 ml, like that. So you repeat the process for all the rings like this. Like this. So after ensuring that they are all filled with the solution like this. 
So it's now time to replace the rings or the cups. Now when all that is done, now we are on the final step and it's charging. So uh, this is my power supply. So let me show you the voltage for this power supply. So this is my meter. Like this, let me put it on. And it's typically 19 volts. So I'm going to use this voltage to charge up the battery for every one hour and we'll see what, what results we obtain after one hour. So let me leave the battery for charging for around one hour. So like that. Then I put it on here. So we are back again and it's almost an hour so let's check the battery voltage and see what we have for the one hour so here's the negative lead and the positive read almost 11 just a volt to 12 volts so let's see now what it has to give uh, using the same uh, 5 watts DC light it is so let's disconnect these ones and see what it has to offer for the one hour of charging let's see whether we made it or not so is the negative lead and the positive one and yeah you can see the light is glowing so you can see it's working right so i've just put all the lights so we can see the brightness of the bulb as you can see yeah it's worth it so thank you for your time uh, if you found this video helpful to you, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe for more videos and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.